Here's an update on my mill. So I put in the spacer piece here. And uh, after I machined it, it, there was about a thousandth of an inch difference between the width here and the width here. So I used that uh, to counteract some knot I had on the column. And I think I got really lucky, but check this out. So 10 on the yellow. Ten on the yellow, or ten and a half or so. Ten and a half on the yellow. Ten and a half on the yellow. So it's within half a thousands across 360 degrees. I'm really happy about that. I wasn't expecting it to get that good. Now that I have this spacer in, uh, the travel extreme on this end of the table, I'm right at the end of the ball screw. So it's about a 30 second over one inch. Excuse me, I'm right at the stop here. And now I'm at the other extreme of the travel. And we're right there. So we're probably off uh, 15 or 20 thousands from True Center, but pretty close. So now with this block here, when the table's at the center of its travel, the spindle's right in the middle. I just set my soft limits. So it's 50 thousandths away from the dead end. So this is just a hair under one inch. And I hit the soft limit again. It's a hair under one inch. So in summary, I moved the Y forward two inches put in this larger dovetail that takes cells. I made this piece and I moved the whole Z up two inches. So now I have a much bigger working envelope and my travel for the Y is exactly dead center of the middle of the table.